So today I am in Cades Court in Newfield, New Jersey. This is just outside of the Vineland area. I'm at a DR Horton community called Cades Court. And what they're doing is they're building what they call spot lots. So these are lots in a community. In this particular case, this street, there were only two homes on a street and they were able to come in and buy the remaining lots, the remaining 10 or so lots, and they're building homes in this existing community. And what they're doing is all over South Jersey, that's what they're doing. They're buying individual lots that are ready to be built and putting a house on them throughout South Jersey. So it's a way that you can get a brand new home at a reasonable price, uh, but not be in a community. And this particular community, the cool thing about it, the lot sizes are really big. You have half acre to one acre lot sizes, a lot of space between the neighbors, and the home prices are pretty reasonable, starting around $460,000 for these four bedroom, two and a half bath homes, uh, approximately 1,900 square feet all the way up to 2,300 square feet and full basements. So a lot to offer, a lot of value here. I'm gonna show you through the two model homes. Uh, they're not completely finished yet, but it'll give you a good idea of what they're gonna look like and show you around the community as well. We help people achieve the highest quality of life through buying and selling real estate. If you're looking to buy a home or sell a home in New Jersey, Delaware, or Pennsylvania, my team and I would be honored to help. And you can contact us at info at promptagents.com. So coming inside to Cade's Court here, we have the front entry door. To the right here, this will be a half bathroom. There will be a coat closet here. And as we come out to the main section of the house, this is gonna be a great room area. So you have a beautiful great room, living area here. There'll be an eat-in, a dining area right here in this section. And then the kitchen area in the back, There's a huge counter space here. You have your countertop here, your uh, Stove will be down here on this wall, refrigerator, a walk-in pantry through that closet door there. And then in the uh, island here will be the sink. All right, we are heading upstairs. This is the Deerfield model, four bedroom, two and a half bathroom. Let's start over at the uh, owner suite over here. This is a look at the owner suite. Nice space, got two windows here. One thing I really love about this model is this walk-in closet space. As you see here, very large walk-in closet with a window there for natural light, so a really nice space. As you come back through here, let's take a look at what the uh, bathroom suite will look like. You will have down here a dual vanity sink, your toilet there in the corner. And as you come around here, there'll be a uh, linen closet there and a step-in shower. Here's a look at the bedroom. This is right next to the owner suite is this bedroom. This is the smallest one in the house here. Closet there. As we come back out to the main hallway, two more bedrooms here. Let's go show you this one first. See, it's a good sized bedroom. Swing around, show you that closet space there. We have another bedroom right next door. And uh, laundry room there. I'll show you that real quick over here. The laundry room, a little dark in here, but your washer and dryer will be going on this wall. And then you have space on this side for a large closet area. Okay, now back out here. Fourth bedroom, similar size to the last one I just showed you. Four very nice sized bedrooms here in the Deerfield model. And coming back out to the hallway, we have a linen closet here to my left. And then in this bathroom, this will be the hall bathroom. There'll be a tub here, a toilet, and dual vanities here. All the homes in the community will also have a basement. So this is an unfinished basement space. You can see the ceiling heights definitely high enough that you could finish this space off pretty easily. You have your uh, water heater, your HVAC down there, and then in this room tucked away are your electric panels. So we just 
saw the Deerfield model, let's go take a look at the Galen model. This is a little bit bigger, about 2,300 square feet. So the big difference here with the Galen is this room here. You have a flex room right off the front entryway. So you come in that front door and you've got this really nice size flex room here in the Galen model as you come right in the front entryway. And then it's similar to the last one, it is an open concept back here. You do have the half bathroom right here. That'd be your sink there. Toilet right around the corner here. You have a coat closet here. And then the kitchen will be pretty similar. You have, you have the uh, kitchen area here. It'll have that big island coming out the middle. You can have a countertop there to be able to put a couple stools there. Uh, refrigerator right here. Gas stove here. You have that uh, sink here in the island. And you do have the walk-in pantry here. And this is a little bit bigger than the other model. Coming back around. One thing I like about this community, the lot sizes are huge, half acre to one acre lots. These are really wide here. Some of them are very deep as well, if you'd rather have just a deeper backyard. So huge living area here. Steps to go upstairs right there. A lot of natural light coming in here. Power, electrical fi fixtures and everything are not installed yet. So you'd have a dining area there. Living room, very nice size, great room here. This one's about 2,300 square feet. So coming up the stairs, you have this really nice size uh, foyer area here. And uh, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms in this Galen model. And let's take a look at the owner suite here. Very nice space. You come through here. This would be the walk-in closet. Lots of room there. And then backing up. This way would be the owner's bathroom. As you walk straight in, will be your dual vanities, your step-in shower, and this one actually has a private room for the toilet, so very nice feature as well, plus a linen closet. Let's look at another big linen closet right here in the hallway. And then here's the laundry room, also on the second floor. It's a great space there. As I said, three more bedrooms. Three more bedrooms up here. Let's go take a look. Down the hallway here, we have the hall bathroom, the linen closet here, dual vanities, your toilet, and this does have the traditional tub. Now off the hallway, two more bedrooms. They're very nice size. They look like they're similar, similar uh, size bedrooms here. And this is located in Newfield, this community. So we're right outside of Vineland. It's kind of more of a rural area, but you are pretty close to Vineland. So there is civilization there, which is nice. So let's go take a look at the basement area down here. Again, huge space, very easy. You can finish this off. And they do have a wall down here, so making it even easier to uh, divide this space up. Back here would be your mechanicals sump pump, everything right back here, water heater. So actually that wall goes back pretty far. So you have some nice space you could use for unfinished storage area. And then yeah, pretty easily finish off this space here. Two windows in here too, which is nice. So you do have some natural light coming in here from those windows. Two car garage, all the homes in the community will have the two car. DR Horton builders are building other uh, similar type of homes on what they call spot lots in other areas of South Jersey. If you'd like more information, contact me and I will give you a list of current homes that are available for sale. Some great options to build. If you don't want to be in a huge community, this is a really nice option.
So this development by DR Court and Cades Court has a lot to offer. I think a good value for the size of the home that you get, you have that basement that's unfinished, you have the option of finishing that for additional living space. So it's a lot of value, a lot of house for the money. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment for me. Let me know what you think of this community, of this location. And if you'd like something new, but maybe this isn't the right fit for you, watch this video next. Let me know what you think of this community.